hey guys it's your girl Vanessa here welcome back to another video I'm really excited to bring to you guys this recipe today it's one of the recipes that I've used in my hair regimen for so long that has certainly helped my hair grow faster thicker longer and healthier so I'll definitely suggest that you keep on watching and watch to the end of the video guys so you don't miss out on any useful information now before you dive into it thank you so much if you're a returning subscriber I really appreciate your love and support I can't believe we are at over 30,000 subscribers guys like this is legit crazy like thank you so much if you're one of those that keep coming back for more videos and are subscribed to my channel so thank you if you're new here I'm Vanessa I make natural hair videos including lots of DIYs to help us grow you know long healthy luscious looking hair so definitely make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on any future content from me so let's hop right into the video guys so the first ingredient we need for this treatment would be some aloe vera you guys know how much I love aloe vera like seriously this thing is so good so so good for hair um, it has anti-inflammatory properties it has amazing moisturizing properties as well so it keeps your hair really nice and soft which means that it's less likely to break it also um, reduces inflammation because it contains some enzymes and fatty acids in it which are known to help you know reduce inflammation and we know guys an inflamed scalp is the worst thing ever information in general like you know for our body it's just the worst thing ever that's what causes disease that's what causes problem um other problems so yeah aloe vera is just good because it's got these amazing properties it also has vitamin c e b12 folic acid and choline uh, which are actually known to help nourish and strengthen the hair so really really good for the overall health of your hair and also it can cause your hair to grow a little bit faster then the next ingredient we'll use will be some bananas now if you are using banana guys use the one that is properly ripe can you see my banana here it's almost ready to go off okay so that's the one that you want to use uh, bananas are great as well for the hair and scalp it improves manageability and shine prevents and control dandruff it moisturizes your scalp it's also rich in potassium natural oils vitamins that are known to soften their hair and protects you know the hair natural elasticity which actually helps prevent split ends and breakage so really really good to also have into your regimen then the next ingredient will be some avocados now avocados are just amazing for hair growth as well guys a study actually found found that um minerals in avocado oil including things like potassium magnesium micelle the cuticle cells which can help your hair look smooth shiny and prevent it from breaking this study was actually conducted in 2015 so it's quite a recent study um avocado is just really really good if you don't have avocado guys use avocado oil which you can get from amazon or you know or perhaps your regular grocery store would have avocado oil as well but i prefer to use the actual avocado i know some of you guys said before in another treatment that i did that you love avocado so much that you can't use it in your hair that's absolutely fine like you know don't use avocado use avocado oil if you love to eat avocados you know i suggest you eat this as well to be honest because it's really good for your health um also because it's a great source of biotin and adding this to into your diet can actually help your hair grow you know healthier so it's really good now the next ingredient guys would be some olive oil now again you can substitute this for coconut oil argan oil um i don't know like any other oil that you've got now i don't know the quantity guys i just eyeballed it you can add more or less it depends on you uh, if you want to then the final ingredient will be some apple cider vinegar now apple cider vinegar is also amazing for hair guys i always use this in my wash day routine um because it's really moisturizing it helps balance the ph you know of the hair you know it prevents um you know split ends it smooths the hair cuticles it treats down draft and itchy scalp you know it just helps you know define your curls and add body to your hair so really really good now if you are to use apple cider vinegar use the one that's with the mother because that's still the one that has like all this all of this um, amazing um, properties or sort of enzymes in it so 
definitely make sure that you use the one with the mud doll so go ahead and blend everything you want to make sure you blend it nicely until it's nice and smooth just like you saw here and then we're going to go ahead and strain this now it's very important that you don't skip this step because trust me you're going to have stuff left in your hair afterwards that you're not going to like so Take your time to strain it it's very simple and easy to do i'm using a stocking cap here and i'll suggest that you do use the same actually no that's not a stocking cap sorry i'm using a wig cap you can use a stocking cap as well i don't know if this will work well with a tea towel because it might be you know too um the holes might be too big so try you know this one and you can just gently you know move the bag around to release you know the stuff and that's basically what is left behind i just threw that one away because you know i didn't want to have anything stuck in my hair now i went in with some essential oils again this is optional guys you don't have to add this but i just love to use essential oil in my regimen because i just i don't know i've ripped the benefits of this over the years and it's definitely one of one of those things that i will always use so i'm using a uh, rosemary essential oil g3 essential oil and peppermint essential oils and these oils have actually been known to help you know in hair growth and also um instead of keeping your hair nice and healthy it improves blood circulation around your scalp nourishing your follicles which is just really good now the final thing that i'm adding again is optional is some mango fragrance oil now this is just to give this you know a nice scent because i was going to apply this to my hair and not do anything to it again other than you know sealing in the moisture so i wanted my hair to be left with some kind of nice smell um for the rest of of the week um so stir that all in together and that's it you know you're ready look at that goodness look at how amazing that's looking you can actually eat this <laughs> you know it just looks so good but that's basically going on our hair our hair is definitely going to enjoy this um so i'm just showing you guys in this next part how i'm applying this to my hair so i'll definitely suggest that you keep on watching so you don't miss out on any good stuff that i'm about to tell you so make sure that you stick around um so i'm i usually work on my hair in sections guys i mean if you've been following me from the beginning you'll know that i always work on my hair in sections it's just easier for me that way to manage it and also saves me so much time and energy when it comes to like detangling and i usually don't detangle my hair before washing anymore i usually just wash condition do all of that and then detangle it just makes my life so much easier and it saves me a lot of time as well so my hair at the moment has been washed um not detangled or anything so still got a bit of tangles in it but it's fine after this treatment i promised you like <laughs> detangling my hair was so easy no stress at all so essentially you just want to apply this you know throughout the length of your hair focusing on your roots and also your ends okay so your ends are usually the driest part of your hair so if you're trying to retain length that's the part that you need to pay a little bit more attention to now your scalp also is very important because you know scalp health is everything when it comes to hair growth because that's where it grows from so if you have a generally unhealthy scalp your hair is going to be really slow at growing and you don't really want that so be sure to always you know apply treatments to your scalp sometimes i don't when i'm trying to avoid build up but i don't do it that that often so when i do do my treatments i'm i mean for the majority of the time i will go ahead and apply it to my scalp as well um so yeah apply that to it massage that in and then after i did that guys i'm just twisting uh, the part that I've already done and I just, and I just made it like into a little bantu knot to prevent it from drying out while I'm working on the next section so this treatment I'm telling you guys is the bomb like it's so good so so good so moisturizing so nourishing for your hair and scalp like really really good look at the definition in my curls guys like literally <laughs> you know the definition was just amazing and when i tell you the moisture that i had after using this treatment in my hair was just oh seriously it was just amazing um so i'll definitely suggest that you consider treating your hair sometimes you know include this into your regimen because it will certainly help you you know retain length and also um, grow your hair a little bit faster than perhaps you would have if you were not you know doing treatments 
I usually do treatments on my hair you know at least once a month because you know it, it's just needed you know just like you're nourishing your body you also want to nourish your follicles and all of that look at the definition guys i was so excited like i was just thought i would show you how defined you know my curls were looking and i tell you the moisture after this as well was just was just great so really really amazing yes yeah, i was saying guys do make sure that you know you treat your hair it's really 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 important um, you know hair masks are very good at the general health of your of your hair in general so after I did that guys like again like I said just twist everything and then do a little bantu knot to prevent it from breaking so I could not record me doing my entire head guys because otherwise this video was going to be extremely long um, so but I just went ahead and applied it to the entirety of my hair and yeah that was pretty much it and then I went ahead and I put a plastic bag on and I let that sit for about three hours but again you can let this sit for a little bit um, less time than three hours if you want to and then I just went ahead and I rinsed my hair with cool water now no shampoo guys I know some of you guys probably asked did I use shampoo no I didn't use any shampoo so just rinsed it off like that and then that's it you can just go ahead and seal the moisture in your hair This is what my hair looks like guys after rinsing it off you can see the shine like my hair is just so nice and shiny you know it feels extremely moisturized obviously you can't feel it but it felt so so good i'll definitely suggest that you try this out and if you do don't forget to let me know how you get on with this guys so let me know in the comment section down below um so this is pretty much it for me today thank you so much for watching and if you made it to the end of the video i mean you're a star thank you so much don't forget to hit that thumbs up button it's very important and also subscribe to the channel guys if you're not already and i'll catch you in my next video so thank you for watching bye